forget that melody Breath Carry My words into the wind Set them free guys, I'm back again and um, just wanted to show you what I've been up to so far. I've come quite a long way actually since I saw you last. Um, as you can see, this corner is almost done. I put some lovely arches at the top and a brick wall and the same again on the other side. That's where the pool's going to go. I've, uh, I've given the steps two coats of grout already. Uh, funny enough, that's where my arch window's going to go, and I'll show you in a minute that. Um, this is the back wall, and I haven't grouted this bit yet, apart from that bit there, because that bit's a bit tricky. I've had to go in with a very small brush and carefully grout inside to prevent grout from getting onto the picture. And I've grouted around the door as well, again, because you need a little brush, it's a bit fine detail. I've done a border up there, it just runs along, and it breaks off there. And I've got one that runs along here. As you can see, this wall's had uh, two coats of grout and it still needs one more. Only a, a little touch up one now, not a full um, layer of grout. It just needs a little bit of touching up. You can see there where the little um, air bubbles have popped through. But yeah, I've got plans for this shelf, which I will show you. Okay. So, oh, I forgot to show you this. Hmm. I made a little column as well. Just to break everything up. I think having a whole wall full of bricks, it just looks boring. So, of course, you've got to try and break it up with something. So, I made a little border there. And I did exactly the same with this border as... Um, I did with like the frame in a cathedral and everything else. I just did the whole uh, like cutting out segments rather than actual making bricks. The same one here. I'll show you the little arches that I've done. And they look quite cool. But yeah, as you can see, it does need touching up. You can't get away with just two coats or one coat on this side rather. Mind you, it hasn't done bad for one coat. Okay. Okay guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show you the tile grout that I use uh, for all my backgrounds. Um, it's waterproof wall tile adhesive and it's basically um, mixed grout, ready mixed grout and it's used for like bathroom wall tiling, kitchen tiling, um, that sort of thing. So it, it's waterproof. Uh, but then again I would still recommend you varnish over this okay Um, the grouting stage is now finished, as you can see, as you can, nice little steps there. That's my window, what was the window? See my door here, what I'm planning to do with this is to paint the, um, the frame all grey so that it matches the, uh, the brick wall and the door 
uh, will stay like wood colour effect. Um, it all still needs dry brushing, so this is just a base coat, as you can see. Still looks a bit messy in places, especially the ceiling where I've gone over. So it still needs a good wash as well. Uh, as you can see, the window has come very far. Now, with this, what I've done is I've, um, I can't remember if I showed you in the last one, I created a frame, a brick frame to go around. Um, it was then all grouted up uh, and then painted with base coat grey. Um, I then printed out this lovely picture here, uh, made sure it all lined up with the window, um, stuck it down on some cardboard and then got some, um, uh, I don't know what you call it now, um, it's used for stenciling, it's like the plastic sheets. Um, and I put that on the top as well as you can see, so it's, it's protected. Yeah. And yeah, I still got to do the dry brushing on it as well. If you want, let's give you a closer look at the pictures. On there, on there. There you go. Steps are all complete. And uh, and yeah, now I just got to go around and finish off the base coat grey on the whole viv. And, uh, and then do the dry brushing, uh, varnishing, and I've got a couple of little things that I want to do as well. I've got some gargoyles, and I've got some little candles that I've made, and, and other little things as well that will just finish it off. Okay, so um, let me just do my base coat grey, and we'll get back to it. Hi guys, back again. Um, what have I done since I spoke to you last? Um, done the poly side of things, uh, did a couple of coats of grout as well, and some touching up with the grout. Um, I also made up a base coat grey colour as well, which is quite a darkish like charcoal grey. And I've given everything uh, two coats as well, and a little bit of touching up. Um, I'll give you a close look at what I've uh, what I've done with the painting, what have you, and I'll, I'll talk you through everything. Um, there's still the uh, dry brush, dry brushing to do on here to give it that stone effect. Um, which again, I'll show you quickly how to do it. I mean, I've got it on the the uh, other videos, which was the ruins platform, and I'll show you on there how to dry brush, but. Obviously not everybody looks at everything, so um, I'll show you again quickly how it's done. But, uh, but yeah, let me, uh, let me show you around. Hello again. Right, here we go. As you can see, my window is done. On there. I went for some religious theme. I was going to go for something else and I just couldn't find anything that looked right. Um, so I just went for the whole religious thing on the on the window, and uh, as you can see, there are a bit lighter bits on here. Um, don't worry, those will go darker because I have just touched it up this second. There we go, because it's always lighter when you put the paint on, then it just dries darker as it later on. And see the steps on here. Ah, oh, it's my cup of tea. <laughs> Moving on. There's my little hole with my uh, my scenery. I'm not too chuffed because, um, as you can see here, there is a little bit of damage to the picture. Uh, unfortunately, it couldn't be helped. It it's so difficult to uh, to go out and paint around a, a picture. So that's another thing for you to think about. Okay, that's my door at the moment. Um, dry brushing around the door frame as well, um, as well as the bricks. And yeah, I've got my little shelf up here. 
Okay, what's next? Uh, dry brushing. Okay, here I have some of my grey paint left. Don't worry, this, is, uh, <laughs> this isn't hair dye. I just used the bottles. The bottles are brilliant because they um, they hold loads of paint in here and they come with a little screw top as well which comes in quite handy. Um, yeah, so I've got my grey mix in here which is about that colour over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly add a bit of white and then a little bit more white until it's a lighter grey and then I'm going to dry brush on top of this. Okay, so let me show you how how I do this. 